So, I mean, it's pretty neat. I mean, it's uh, very thankful for that. But it's something that we worked on since the beginning of the year, you know, just coach just told us to put ourselves in a good position to win this and for the main goal. So, I mean, I think we're in a good position. And I mean, I'm very thankful for that with my teammates that work hard, have been working hard. I mean, we're just, uh, we have the same uh, mentality right now, you know, so very thankful for that. How special do you think it is for not only the girls <laughs> senior group, but just team as a whole to be able to have the opportunity to host throughout, you know, if you can get through the regional, super regional round? I think it's really nice, especially for the fans, you know, playing on your, uh, in Lubbock, you know, it's it's really fun, you know, to hear the hecklers and your fans, Raider power, all that kind of stuff, you know, it's just one of the, gives you kind of like a chip on your shoulder, a little bit more motivation. So I think it's really good because you form a bond with, I guess, the fans and your teammates. What do you tell Davis and Steven about the electricity that's about to be in this building here in a couple days? Oh, it's going to be great. I mean, they already know. We've talked about it since the beginning of the year. I mean, they've seen it a little bit, you know, in conference games when we hear that Raider power. But, I mean, it's, it's not going to be nothing like it, you know. It's it's just another baseball game, too. you got to go out there and have fun. How much is it easier is it on your body being able to you know, keep it here at home compared to a couple years back when you think going to Coral Gables and I'm sure it's just a grind to travel, you know, jumping between Gables and love it. Uh, I mean, it's never easy, but I guess mentality wise, it's a little easier because you know what to expect a little bit, you know? You know what's you know what you have to do. You, every the guys that been there, I guess, two years ago, this year they know what to do. What it's possible, but we know what to do to get there. So it makes it a little bit easier. Almost a blessing in disguise that you weren't involved in couple more baseball games there in the Big 12 baseball tournament. I know you wanted to advance, but then they go to extra innings, and it's got to be a grind to see even those guys out there on the field. And obviously, you want you want to have your pitchers fresh as well for a regional and super regional run. Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't know how to take that, you know, but I, I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason. So that happened, got to move on and learn from it, work on the stuff that I guess didn't work out in those games. and. We're here now, so we're going to go out there and just practice. How do you keep the younger guys humble with that number five ranking that you guys are? Well, that's just a number, you know. It's, I mean, I don't feel like any guys are getting big-headed in the locker room. They're just going to go out there and compete. Uh, they know, they know, and if they don't, they have any questions, they ask the older guys that have uh, been uh, throughout regional and stuff, and they know not to get – I mean, baseball is a humbling sport, like everyone says, so they know. Uh, I mean, it's always exciting seeing that kind of stuff, but we're just honored to be a part of this tournament, to be where we are today, uh, to see that our hard work that we put in all season pay off. And we're fortunate that we're able to get a national seed and play at home because, I mean, home uh, home field advantage in the postseason is big. So that's, that's, that's great that we're able to do that. Higher or lower than you guys might have thought or maybe right where you that would be. I honestly don't know. We didn't we didn't think about it too much. We were just like we were just like ready to see where we're at. Like we would have been happy no matter where. I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna be tough either way, like whether we weren't a national seed or if we were, so we we're just we didn't really think too much about it. Having had the opportunity two years ago to play here in the super regional, how much I guess peace of mind does it give you to know that if you take care of business and you just do what you have to do, uh, you can have that opportunity to go to the College World Series again, just if you win each game out. Yeah, I mean, we got to take care of game, uh, each game one at a time. Fairfield's, I'm sure, going to be ready to play. Um, but all the guys that were a part of that two years ago definitely know it's it's not easy. Everyone's going to have to contribute. and uh, But playing at home with this crowd, uh, it's not easy. So we just know that or the guys that have been through it can kind of let the younger guys know how it works, you know, uh, that momentum is huge. So we just really need to like play our game, like prepare the right way and just play the game we've been playing all year. I know one and two at the Big 12 tournaments, you know, probably not the finish you had envisioned, but you know, can there be positives to take away from maybe not having that grueling grind through the weekend? Yeah, you can definitely learn from every game. There's good things and bad things that happen. I mean, there's a lot of guys that got to go in there, get some at bats that haven't been got, uh, getting at bats lately. Guys got to throw some innings, so 
there's always definitely something to learn from. I know two years ago when we made it to Omaha, we went to and out of the Big 12 tournament. So we just, like we knew that even though we didn't play our best baseball, that we can just let it go and start over from uh, starting this week. Is there an advantage to obviously getting a little more rest and being able to put your head on your own pillow and, and be here at home and not have to travel as much? Yeah, absolutely. Traveling will take a toll on you, especially this late in the season. Uh, playing at home, you can stick to your routine that you've been doing all year because whenever you're on the road, you gotta you try to make it as much as normal as possible. And even though it's it's not because you're in a hotel and all that stuff, but I think mainly it's just for our routine. We can go and do what we usually do for game days that we've been doing all year. It's a familiar name here in this regional. It's New Mexico, and you guys are pretty familiar with them. You like that? Or obviously they've kind of given you some trouble even in the wins. So maybe that's not a positive. Yeah, I mean, either way, if we didn't play them, I don't think. I think it's going to be tough either way because they're a good team. Every team that we're going to face is going to be good. So I'm not really – I didn't think too much into it. I think – I think whoever is going to be is going to play tough, but we got to worry about our game one and win that one before we worry about anything else. When you look back to 2014, I'm sure going down to Coral Gables, as a team collectively probably create that us against the world mentality, you know, kind of going into somebody else's house and get, coming out with a win. How do you maybe create that edge here just in your own friendly confines? Oh, well, we always got to play with a chip on our shoulder, like someone's, uh, like everyone's out to get us. I mean, we got to motivate ourselves. We got to take each game, take each pitch at a time, because uh, we know it's not going to be easy. I guess. I mean, uh, we just got to play with an edge. Like come out and win each pitch, like Coach always tells us.